No, I try not to be that kind of guy, right? I got to talk about the Sixers and Knicks game last night. I got to. I got to share my grievances because my nose looks old. Anyway, I got to share my grievance because I've been fired up since like, I woke up today like around 8.20 in the morning. See everybody online got something to say about the Sixers game. You got the average trolls who's trolling us. You got the other people who saying who feel remotely about how I feel. And then, then you got the other people who are just kind of like, oh, but they wasn't going to win anyway, kind of thing. So before I go on this rant, I'm going to get the Knicks their flowers. All right. So shout out to the Knicks. Um, I'm not going to be on here. Oh, the Knicks is trash. I hate the Knicks. They get on my effing nerve. No. I actually respect what the Knicks are doing. They got Brunson. They got a dog. They're, they're dogs. Tom Thibodeau is a hell of a coach. Defensive-minded coach. And, um, you know, the Knicks, they, you know, they're, they're legit. And I think what the media is trying to do, because this is what the media is known for doing, is trying to create a rivalry with the Sixers and the Knicks. It should already be a rivalry. I know we have rivalry. Sixers had rivalry with Boston, but the Sixers and Knicks is when they are division. They're two miles north. So, yeah, they are a rivalry. You feel what I'm saying? So, but I have evidence to prove why I am legitimately annoyed, aggravated, and ready, and ready to do some harm to somebody or something. So, let's get right into it. Y'all let me know what you guys think about my proof, and let's talk about it. How the fuck do you miss this call? How the fuck do you miss this call? This was right around a time where the Knicks scored, it was up by like five or something like that. Look at Jalen Brunson literally horse collaring Tyrese Maxey's jersey. Referee, referee was like, I don't see that. I'm Stevie Wonder. I cannot see. I'm legally blind as and nigga. Like, what the fuck is that? That's a foul, right? You can't hold somebody's jersey like that. And I get the playoffs. Everything's high. Emotions is high. That kind of rip. I can see if you try to, like, snag it. But he's, like, holding me, like. You know how you grip your child up when they're doing something bad in the um in a public area and you gotta kinda get them restraint? That's what Jalen Brunson did to Maxi. No call. That's a zip A. Let's go to a zip B. A zip B. Nick Nurse is right there. Clearly looking at the ref, clearly trying to tell the ref, time out. When we was on the baseline trying to inbound the ball after the Knicks score. Nothing. The ref looks at him dead in his face. No nothing. Nothing. No foul, no timeouts, nothing. Sorry, somebody was calling me. If I was coaching in any competitive nature, basketball, where it's like a team sport, I'm looking at the referee calling timeout and they don't do nothing. Let me tell you how I will go right in the referee's face call them a bunch of words and say, and just go off on them, go on rogue. Cause there's no way you, I'm looking at you dead in your face. Time out. Nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm. Exhibit C. So this is when Maxie was on the ground and he was trying to get the ball. It was so much contact here. And the fact they didn't call no fouls. I'm just like, what I'm so glad I didn't bet in this game. I wanted to, but I stopped betting in sports because I've bet with a lot of people in the past who are very immature. They'll lose a bet and then they'll look at me in my face and tell me I pussy I ain't paying you shit. And the kind of person I am, you said that to me, we we rumbling. Now this is not me trying to say, oh, I'm a fighter, I fight, I'm a, I'm about it. No, I'm a really nice guy. I'm a big guy. I'm like a big friendly guy. I like to make people laugh. I like to have a good time. But if we bet and you lose and I'm like, where's my money? And I'm coming to you respectfully and you call, call me all out my name. I ain't give you nothing. Oh, no. I got a swing. I have to handle that. You see right there, 
Philly and the Knicks. You got the you see that little thing right there at the bottom with the underneath the names. Both teams had one one timeout. One timeout. Nick Nurse called timeout. Maxie's calling timeout. The refs did fucking nothing. I can't get too loud because I'm at fucking work in my office. The refs looked at Nick Nurse in the fucking face and didn't make the fucking call. Maxie's on the ground. He's fucking sick. He's calling timeout. They don't fucking call the timeout either. They don't see that. They don't acknowledge the fucking call. Fuck out of fuck is this shit, man. Gather myself. Okay. We would have lost. Now, this game went to overtime somehow. Whoever wins, whatever. My issue with this, and I'm not being biased as a Sixers fan. My issue with this is the fact that these games get ruined because of fucking dumbass referees. I love seeing competitive sports in any competitive atmosphere. Don't let the game be ruined by stupid ass referees. And that's what happened with this game. I feel like us fans got robbed. Unless you're a diehard Nick fan, you're having the time of your life right now. You turned up, you're laughing. I I don't even watch Stephen A. Bitch ass talk about. You know he gonna be biased as fuck. You got NBA on TNT cast: Ernie Johnson, Kenny Charles, and Shaq. Some of the shit Charles said. The Knicks are going to beat the brakes off of us? Really, nigga? Because they showed you back in, in the late 80s getting swept by the Knicks? So you going to put that on us? That's not on us why your ass got swept. Your team back then wasn't that good. Don't pass that trauma to us. He said it. Look it up. Oh, the Knicks is going to beat the brakes off the Sixers. No, the fuck they did not. They, they escaped. E-S-C-A-P-E. Escaped. That's what they did. They fucking escaped and the ref helped them. I don't care what nobody say. They escaped. And Shaq, oh, well, the game should never, you should never let the game get that side by the referees. And da, da, da. Shaq, let's keep it all the way 100, bro. And I love Shaq, but Shaq, you, I'm pissed off with you, too. Y'all wasn't supposed to be Sacramento Kings back in 2001 or 2000, whatever year that was. The ref saves y'all. It's been literally documented. Look it up. It was supposed to be the Kings and New Jersey in the finals that year. But the refs gave the Lakers so many calls back in the day. So y'all know, Shaq, you know about bullshit. Because bullshit was in your favor back in the day. I was like 5 or 4 when that game came on. Kenny Smith, I can't understand say to Kenny Smith. He's just neutral. Ernie's always been neutral. He don't really have much to say either. It got so bad, LeBron had to say something about this game. LeBron says that. He said, listen, we've seen the Sixers next game. What are we doing? And then he walked off the um, post-game interview thingy. Yeah. So, and B was frustrated during the interview. Maxi kept his cool, but B was literally holding his head like this. Pissed off, and I don't blame him because my main and B was playing on one fucking knee, one fucking knee, one fucking knee. He's in pain, he's hobbling, he still gave us 30. Maxi had the fucking flu, or he was sick, or something. He dropped 30, almost got a triple double. That's Philly Hart right there. You can't teach that. And the other sucker. Wouldn't even play. Oh, my knee hurt. I ain't playing. Oh, I don't feel good. <laughs> I ain't playing. They fucking played, and we was robbed of something so special because of these punk-ass fucking referees. We filed a grievance. I don't know what that's going to do. There's the results are in. Once the final bell goes off in the NBA game, you can't change the scores. You can't change. Worst case scenario, they're going to have new referees for the game in Philly. And the Sixers, I need y'all to come out with blood. I need y'all to go out there Thursday and Saturday, whatever the schedule is, and destroy these suckers. Tie that too. I got a feeling Thursday, we're going to be coming out for blood. That Chief Keef Love Soul, so instrumental. All the hype songs you can think about, Undertaker, uh, three, my, my, my 10 and 300, it's going to play. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. Let's talk about it.